my dear children wish you happy good good afternoon for you previous class we learned polymorphism is what how to make a program what are the rules but today this session in this polymorphism achieve through two things one is function overloading and another one is operator overloading function overloading about we learned but today we will see operator overloading sir so what sir operator overloading in this operator overloading is a special meaning to an operator here you see in this the mechanism the mechanism of giving special meaning the mechanism of giving special meaning of an operator or to an operator is known as operator overloading in this operator overloading we know plus 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 asterisk or multiplication and then subtraction okay plus plus minus minus this or operator can be overloaded but question will ask what are the operators cannot be overloaded this is important two mark and three mark also what are the operators list out the operators that cannot be overloaded number one is scope operator is nothing but scope resolution operator number two is size of operator we will pronounce size of the memory space bytes allocation about the third one is dot operator in this also say member selector and then here the member pointer selector also fourth type of operator is an asterisk the last one is my dear children this is a ternary operator or conditional operator okay you will represent symbol question mark colon so the question will ask list out the operator that cannot be overloaded number 1 is scope operator and then size of operator and then member selector and then member pointer selector and then ternary operator question mark representation now in case two mark and three mark also asking the question is sometime five mark also what is operator overloading and their rules definition about we learned dear children this is a restrictions of an operator overloading and then rules for operator overloading this is a important five mark and three mark okay yes in this operator overloading number one rule is dear children this is a restrictions of an operator overloading and then rules for operator overloading this is a important five mark and three mark okay yes in this operator overloading number one rule is precedence precedence means certain rules board mass rule or bomb das rule something will say no so procedure so procedure or protocol based will making a order of an operator and their associativity some operation doing right to left and left to right that's why i will say precedence and associativity of an operator cannot be changed so precedence and associativity of an operator cannot be changed number 2 new operator cannot be created only existing operator can be overloaded this is important rule suppose plus means plus minus means minus but suddenly or immediately different operator we here can cannot introduce that's why i said new operator cannot be over cannot be created only existing operator can be overloaded okay and then third one cannot redefine also the meaning of an operator and procedures what you say sir suppose in mathematically c equal to a plus b means okay now likewise 
C minus A equal to B and then C minus B equal to A but here cannot be redefined it here not a possible here not a possible cannot redefined mathematically okay but programmatically not a possible that's why cannot redefine the meaning of an operator's precedence the fourth one is overloaded operators cannot have default argument you are doing the programming time only what are the arguments we need that only we do but unnecessarily or previously or existing is nothing but overloaded operators cannot have default arguments this is a fourth rule the final and final here when binary operators by means we know two that's why binary operators are overloaded second one is very very important one mark also this question unary binary ternary answer is binary same time left hand of an object this is main left hand of an object must be an object of the relevant class okay again i will tell you the last point my dear children when binary operators are overloaded left hand object must be an object of the relevant class this point about we will making on program that program i will explain that time we can understand what are the rules how can we understand when will applied okay so slowly we'll go over the program you see here number the program is so concatenate so now find string here using operator overloading in this program so here program is you see here hash include string dot h why because this is string program or concatenate kind of string that's why we are having had a function string dot h and then include io string input and output okay you are using namespace std is nothing but the c++ that's why we introduce these three is a header files or include files and then pre processor statements okay yes here class name is strings you are using the what access specifier here public in this public based character is a data type but 20 elements or 20 character that's why s of 20 here void get string and then character here string this is argument this is a member function but we are using copy copy function that's why we will introduce str cpy it is not caps small s str cpy of and then in this case str cpy of source string and target string that's why s yes, comma string already we declared no s yes. but well open braces and close braces but we we'll declared how can we create an object base here void strings here introduce what operator scope resolution operator here plus is a symbol plus symbol and then strings and then object here string cat it is so what is the use of this sir uh, str cat is nothing but so joining two strings or concatenating of two strings that's why s yes, comma o b dot s yes, this is object declaration and then we will want to see here so here see out here the concatenated string is the declared is yes the so variable is yes we know and then open brace here close brace and then the body should be terminated by semicolon okay yes i think so you can understand class name is strings public access specifier declares of 20 characters a string of a member function this is argument copy string s comma strings and then void strings here operator the plus string is an object and then concatenate string str cat of s comma ob dot s so joining two strings that's why see how concatenate string is yes 
the body should be semicolon and then so how can we show in how it puts her that about as continuation process again and then what that about we'll see now in this program we will declare what uh, here uh, that process over body of the process over but in this main function in this main function here we declare the strings object 1 and then object 2 but here string of 10 character here also string of 10 characters but these two strings will join here what question will, will, will ask enter first string okay so here question will ask enter first string so enter first string okay yes here also first string is a string one and then enter the second string or string two the first string he is here a brighter okay and then second question will ask enter second string so second string here enter second string okay here one two zero two zero okay so what do we learn with joining two strings first string is a brighter second string is while 2020 okay so for this the final output concatenated string is okay concatenated string is c o n c a t concatenated string here concatenated string a is also colon this is the first string the second string a brighter Okay, while 20, 20. So, if you get a proper output, okay, yes, this is a program. But here, string 1, string first 10 character bright, and then string 2 also will got it, while 20, 20. Concanate string, the final output, concanate string is a brighter, while 20, 20. In this program, prototype or uh, syntax for what syntax for operator operator overloading. What's our operator overloading? We know already. This is a class now. That's why here class is a data type. And then class name. Here also what? class name here and then space okay here operator is a one type of keyword and then plus or minus is called symbol in this inside the symbol will apply argument after that we'll open brace here function function argue meant okay here also close you see this is a class class name space operator and then symbol and then argument so declaration here argument will closed sir simple example you tell sir here class okay here also uh, class name is a complex and then operator here operator symbol and then plus here what and then clause x again the open braces here complex here y so that's why this is a relevant example for operator overloading syntax so uh, i think so you can understand for this program okay yes now i will give the homework for you okay that homework is same two strings joining two strings Okay, the string one is what? String one is computer. Okay, and then string two is science. Okay, but I need an answer. Joining two strings will final output computer science. Okay, again repeat the homework. First string is computer. Second string is science. Joining together, we will get 
computer science the same concatenation of a string using operator that about okay work out okay in your far note take photocopy send it to my personal whatsapp number okay i think so you can understand very well thank you for this session